Well, back at it. Um, this is probably day 10 to that last little clip that you've seen. I did say I was going to start cutting the stringers and that would be the next part to the video. I've decided not to do that. The reason why, I don't know exactly what my plan is yet. So I don't really want to cut all the stringers and then just leave them dumped on the floor. For, it could be for a month or two, I do not know. Uh, what you can't see at the moment, where I'm standing, all this side of the boat is pretty much sanded. I'd say it's 90% complete. Um, I am going to show what I've done because I've had a lot of problems getting the paint off this boat. There's about six layers of paint. It's been a nightmare, like you won't believe. We've stood there sanding for half an hour in like a little spot that big and we just don't seem to be getting anywhere. So I'll explain what I've done, what sanding discs I've used sort of thing, what grits and should, like, basically show you what I've been doing. I'm not going to go on too much about the sanding because it's boring. No one really wants to know about it. But I did search YouTube and I searched online just to get a few like insights into what I've got to come, if you know what I mean. There's nothing out there at all, not a single video explaining what grit they're using and why and what the eventual plan is, if you know what I mean. So I thought it'd be a good part to the video. Be a bit of a time lapse off sanding, not going to do too much. There'll be a bit of a time lapse for the sanding. Not going to do too much, it's simple. You put it on and you go left and right, or up and down, or in circles. It's not rocket science, but it's part of the build, obviously. So I'll do a short time lapse, probably, with some of the sanding. Explain what I've decided to do with the sanding. I've also, on, it's a Pilot 520. Around the sides here, you've got checker plate. It's like in the gel coat, it's part of it, it's anti-slip. I cannot get the paint out of it. Someone's painted over it. It's probably two mil thick, the paint, maybe a mil, mil, mil or two. I cannot get the paint out of it. Problem I have is, once I do get the paint out, how do I rough it up properly? Because I'm probably going to paint it, and the paint's going to flake off like it is now. So, I'm getting rid of it. I'm going to sand it absolutely flat. There's pads online you can buy, anti-slip pads, 3M adhesive on them. So, the could is stopping here. So, the plan will be, I'll have a pad here. A pad there and then two square pads up the front for walking around to the anchor. There is also checker plate mark stuff down the side here. I don't need it. This can just be flat gunnels all the way. So that's one of the jobs I'll be doing. Not sure how I'm going to tackle it yet. I did try sanding here last night. It took absolutely ages with the sandpaper. So I might use a flat disc on it to knock it down. Then I'll go on to it with sandpaper. Well, I'm going to stop waffling anyway. Um, I've actually booked two days off work. I had Mark here yesterday and another friend turned up with three of us on it sanding and it made a big difference. Waiting for Mark to turn up now, he can't get out of bed. <laughs> but hopefully he'll be here soon and we can crack on again sanding. The plan at the moment, get the whole boat sanded as it sits now, sand everything I can without it breaking our back like in awkward positions. Then I'm flipping the boat, I'm going to turn it upside down and then start sanding the hull. I won't go into too much of what I'm doing because it, this video will just drag on forever. I'm going to flip it, sand the hull, pull the keel band off because it's got a band on it, a metal strip, and I'm going to be fiberglassing the keel with some combination matting. It's Boyax uh, matting and cross strand. It's two mats in one. I'm probably going to do three layers of that. I want the keel on this super, super strong. It's a launched boat. It might bump into concrete slipways, stuff like that. It happens. So I'm going to make the keel super strong. It's going to have three layers on the outside and more than likely, two, three, maybe even four layers on the inside. Because I want to, in the center, I'm going to be fiberglassing that as well. But I might do three layers there. Then I'll have the stringers in, and then I'll be doing a layer over the stringers, maybe two. This boat's going to be flipping strung, I can tell you that. Right, I'm going to get into sanding. I don't want to be waffling too long and wasting time. I don't have much time to waste, I don't want to get it done. So, this part's the boring part. Sanding everything, prepping everything. It's the most important part though. If you take your time on this and you do it right, the finished product will be a million times better. I want the boat to look new, basically. I want to spray paint it. I want it a nice flat, glassy finish. It's all gonna be white, so it's not complicated as such. But yeah, let's get into it. There'll be a bit of a time lapse now with sanding, potentially. I'm not sure where I'm gonna drop in. The video's a bit of a mix match because this works slow and I just don't want it, I don't want to do too much of it on the camera. It's not exciting, but it's part of the build, so I do want to show you. Right, let's get into it. that 
bit of a time lapse, you've seen where we've got to. What we've been doing, the other side, we sanded it straight down, straight back to the gel coat and just left like a little bit of the white primer as a guide coat. This side, we've took off the top three coats, leaving this stuff. Sorry about the noise, it's a bit windy. Um, we've got about another three, four coats of paint left there now. The top three are a nightmare to sand. These ones come off pretty easy. So basically, we were sanding the other side, a, a one square foot area, it's taking like an hour, and it feels disheartening, really, to be honest. So what I said to my mate, Mark, when we sand this side, take the top three layers off, and we'll just keep moving along. We did that in probably three or four hours. I reckon now, another two or three hours, possibly, and that will be done. Um, I found a few little bits of damage, nothing major. What I got my other little camera here, I'm gonna go in closer and show you what I found. And this is the reason why I'm doing this job the way I'm doing it. If you look right here, this circle, you can see there's some crack in there in the gel coat. There's a bit of a circle around the edge and there. This whole area will be grinded out and it'll be refiberglassed and fixed properly. Another little area I found is down here, look. And then you can see that little hole there. It's only tiny, but this area will be repaired. There's not too many areas like it, to be honest. We've got little holes like these where things have been fixed to the boat. This is all going to be repaired. There's a little bit of a dip here, so I might repair that as well. But generally, it's not that bad. One good bit of news. Under here, the paint is super thin, which, well, it's bad for being on the water, but it's good for me getting it off. So all of this will sand pretty easy, hopefully. But you can see a lot of it's just put, pulling off in flakes. So big part of the reason why I'm sanding it back bare. And it gives me an opportunity to check for any damage. Don't know if you can see uh, little holes. Well, not a hole, it's a dimple. Another one there. Now, I am being really, really over the top, but I want it 100%. Try and show you the other side. We've got these like, chips in the gel coat. That will all be repaired. There's a few here, there's a few around here. These holes I might repair and then re-drill. This is a big area here that's been repaired by someone. Actually, it's like a cat. <laughs> Looks like it's been an impact right there. It's been squished and it's caused stress cracks in the gel coat. I might be wrong, but there's a bit of damage on this. There's a little bit missing there. That's what I think's happened. And there has been a repair along here, if you look. There has been a repair along there, if you have a look at that. So, I might address this, try and tidy it up a bit. Coming down this side, there's not really a hell of a lot. There's a repair there, but that's actually a really good repair. It's tidy. Um, another thing I'm doing, on the pilots, you've got checkering, running all the way down the side, as you can see there. This is absolutely loaded with paint. I cannot get it out for the life of me. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. So, I'm sanding it flat. If you can see there, it's gone. What I've done, I've hit this with a flat disc, um, 80 grit flat disc, just to knock it down a little. Then I'm using 40 grit and sanding it flat, just like that. What my plan's gonna be, you don't need checker plate along here, and you don't need it here either. The cuddy starts there, so the checker plate will start from about here, roughly where my hand is there. So I'm gonna have a strip of checker plate here, another strip here, and then a nice square of it there. Basically, it's just so I can walk around to the front. But as you can see, this is filled with paint. And it just peels off. You can't get good adhesion to it. You can't sand in between those little tiny diamonds, so you'll never get paint to stick properly. So my plan is, you can buy like sticky pads, uh, 3M adhesive, and it's anti-slip pads. They'll stick on, they'll be solid, and it'll look the part. I can get them in grey as well, so it says painting in grey. Down this side, that's the finished look we're trying to aim for. A little bit of white primer left as a guide coat. This has been hit with 40 grit. My plan is next is to go over it with probably a 120 grit to smooth it out, get rid of any pigtails off the sander, and yeah, back down that, that white a little bit. And then it'll be ready for priming. Pri then it'd be ready for priming, painting, stuff like that. One issue I have found, the fiberglass, the keel, and I've done a bad job of it. 
as you can see, it's peeling off. I have had to dig at it a bit with a screwdriver, but this is all shiny, the actual hull of the boat. They've not even done anything to get a key with a new fiberglass. So that's going to be one job. That'll be one job I'll have to do. Um, there's a keel band on it. Plan is, is 100% sand the boat everywhere I can reach on the top side, inside the well, the transom, everywhere. We're going to flip the boat upside down. There's a keel band fitted. It's been fitted really poorly. So I'm going to pull the keel band off. There's fiberglass there, if you've as you've just seen. That's not been done properly. So I'm going to get that off as well. I'm then going to rough it all up, scuff it all up properly and redo the keel. I'm probably going to do two or three layers of um, combination matting. You'll see more of that once we get to that part of the, the build, but yeah, I'll probably do three coats. It's going to be really strong. It's a launch boat. There's a high chance it's going to bump into a concrete slipway. I want that keel solid. I don't want it chipping, cracking and breaking. I want the boat strong. With this sanding, I did start off hitting it with 120 grit. Wasn't touching it. I then dropped to 80 grit. It was getting through it, but it was flipping slow. Now we're on 40 grit and it's still slow to be honest, but I don't want to go any stronger than 40 grit. It's going to end up pigtailing it, like you get little curly whirly lines and it'll be in the original gel coat. It's going to be hard to sand them out. So we're stopping at 40 grit and as soon as we hit this, we're stopping. We're not sanding on that at all. You might touch it a bit, but we don't want to take anything off it. We're just trying to get the paint off the surface. So the plan is now, get this off using 40 grit, get it back down so we've got the original gel coat. This will probably be patchy white with loads of little bits of primer. That's a guide coat in a way. I'm going to come back, hit it again lightly with 120 grit. That Then it'll be ready for the primer. Then we'll be flattening the primer and spraying the primer, flattening the primer and spraying the primer as we need to. So that's it. I'll get back on with it. We'll carry on sanding. Um, I'm probably going to end the video here. It probably won't be the longest video. You've seen me cut the stringers out and you've seen a big portion of the boat sanding. There's no point keep videoing sanding. Unless I bump into some major issue that I find, there is no point keep videoing. So I'm going to get this sanded now. I'm going to end the video here. The next time you see the video, depending what happens, the boat should be upside down because there's not much else to really show you, to be honest. If I feel like there is, I will video it. But anyway, I'm going to get on with this. If you're new here and this is your first video you're seeing, this is not the only thing I do on the channel. There's fishing, there's catch and cooks, how-tos, tutorials, there is all sorts. Just drop back down through the videos a little and you'll be able to catch up on those. If you want to see the Pilot 520 rebuilt like this from the start all the way to the end, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be loads of footage from me. I'm going to be showing every part of the build. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Consider, sus subs consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.